sometimes those different groups and you know they intermarry right people fall in love right i mean you know you know you you know right i mean that's there's no and then that's how that starts that's how some of the the okay, heat so, yeah, so the, the heat am... starts coming up on that melting pot is that people you know <laughs> You know, people get are attracted to their people and they go smash and they get, you know, and then they, they get married and shit, man. That, you know, that that's the way it, that happens a lot. Right. I mean, that well, that's I'm not, not forced to the intermingling of the groups. It's when it's forced. Like, that's what you that's what you see with modern. Well, then uh, uh, you guys help me out, because really, I'm asking these questions like sincerely, like when you say force, what is what do you mean force? Like, how, so, uh, how... go ahead, Mark. Yeah. I might have an answer to this. Um, Just so I know, you know, what's that? No, just so I know, because I, you oh, know, yeah, I'm yeah, just, yeah. Yeah, you know. No, good questions. Um, immediately after the the Civil War, the war between the states for some people, <laughs> uh, there was uh, like Reconstruction hadn't like ramp- amped up to like a certain degree, like immediately following. Um, so you had, and you have like writers talking about how, I wish I had this book in front of me, like the the relations between whites and blacks in the South obviously weren't like perfect, <laughs> but they weren't as bad as they would become like just even 10 years later when Reconstruction amped up. So when you had the Yankees come down from the North and start amping up Reconstruction, uh, before that happened, like the amount of people like lynched in the South, it was like the same kind of percentage for whites and blacks. The Yankees come down and they try to quote civilize these freed blacks. What they were really doing instead of civilizing them was trying to turn them into northerners, which there was already this sort of tension, this conflict between southerners and northerners. And you have northerners trying to turn southern blacks into uh, like into more of like a northern mindset. And this actually created a further divide between the south between the whites and the blacks in the south than what was initially there even follow immediately following the freeing of the slaves and the sort of force thing that justin's talking about is that reconstruction coming down from the north after the north defeated the south in the civil war and then that is carried on into modern day like uh like, like housing policy and stuff like there is mm-hmm. it, it it sounds like the wrong word to use but it's it's really the right word word to use there there's a there is a forced integration of uh, like changing zoning in different cities and stuff where that you have certain housing that becomes low income housing in the middle of like what would otherwise be upper middle class areas. And so it's in, in every situation where that is being tried. And I'm not saying that I particularly disagree with the idea behind it like it's trying to create some sort of inequality but you can't create that like that's not something that you can manufacture that has to like that has to be the natural integration of the groups like you were talking about the intermingling and people are gonna people are gonna marry between between groups and stuff and you know uh that has to happen naturally it it can't be this forced thing where you just say okay now we're gonna put this is low-income housing in the middle of a upper class neighborhood well that's in every situation that's been tried it has been an abject failure and that's why you see what new york is today what chicago is today like it is it can't it there there has to be a natural organic way that society moves in that direction and what we have done or what the government has done uh especially in a lot of these more progressive cities and when I say progressive, what, what I really mean is Democrat controlled leftist cities is they have tried to force that to be the thing before it was ready to be the thing. And so then it puts it puts everybody who's being placed in these low income housing situations or uh, you know areas. They're now looked down upon. And then everybody who's you know surrounding that now they're looking to get out. Run, run.